something though. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally see money now. What's up everybody, Kevin Van Voris here. We're in the Charger Hellcat today, the Paisley Cat, the Acid Cat, as some would call it. So, just filled up on E85 as you guys saw. Um, this is gonna be getting dropped off on Friday to get some goodies put in, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, so I wanna make sure it was on E85 because it's gonna get retuned um, after all those goodies get installed. Oh, shit. I can't wait to put those drag wheels on, wheels and tires on, and I really want to see what those Mickey Thompson Street R's um, are going to do as far as a difference in hooking up. I'm really excited about that. Um, can't wait for track season to open up. Our track is getting completely redone, thank God, because the Amarillo drag strip was not very good. And if they weren't going to replace it this year, I probably, most likely, wasn't going to race at the drag strip this year. I'd have to go to OKC or Dallas or Albuquerque or even Denver. So, which I'm still going to probably go to some of those, but I'd like to go at least every week. <clears throat> so that way I can get some practice in this, in the Demon, and also in the Trackhawk, and then take Rachel with me too so she can start practicing um, some drag racing as well, since she's never done it. So, today's video, I wanted to get your guys' opinion. So the Demon is on its way, well, I'm going to call the shipper, the shipper, I'm going to call the shipper here in a minute. It's actually not getting shipped through... Um, What's the name? It's not actually getting shipped through Reliable. It's going to get shipped through, and I'll tell you guys in one second. There's three trucking companies now shipping demons because they're trying to move them out this quickly uh, because there's a bunch of them just sitting at the yard. So bear with me for five more seconds if this will load. Um, so the three trucking companies are, here we go, Reliable, McCollister, auto transport and something called urds which he hasn't updated what that is so he does have the phone number and i'm going to call them here after i'm done making this video and see when it's going to get delivered because today is wednesday march 14th and it's not here today and it wasn't here yesterday and the delivery date was from the 13th to the 17th so i don't know when it's going to be here i'm not really sure i don't know how long it takes to get from brampton to <laughs> Texas and I don't know how they do with the whole logistics as far as like how they even pick which cars to ship or anything like that um, I'm assuming my car will be coming with other cars that are kind of on the way Ooh, there's a nice little okay oh, I'm sure you guys heard that as he passed by me um, so anyways today's video I wanted to ask you guys the racers on this channel um, so I've seen SRT mush he's got Hoosiers on his demon I've seen Demonology. He also has Hoosiers on his Demon. Um, <clears throat> now, I haven't used the Mickey Thompson Street R's yet. They're on my new drag wheels, but I have not used them. So that's why I'm making this video. I really don't want to use the Demon tires that are on the Demon. I really don't. <clears throat> uh, not until they start making more of those. I really don't want to fuck them up, just to be quite honest with you guys. I don't want to mess them up they're very cool tires so with that being said i would like to go know your guys's opinion as far as what's going to be better as far as a drag radial and, and i say that loosely a drag radial it's almost like a drivable slick um is going to be that hoosier i think it's a 345 i think it's a 345 45 18 or 345 35 18 i'm not sure which one it is or 
the Mickey Thompson, which is gonna be the same exact tire that I have for this car, for the Forge Lines, which is gonna be a 305, 45, 18. Um, so I'd really like to know you guys' opinion, honestly. Um, which one is gonna be better at hooking up and <clears throat> which one is going to be better as far as the gearing ratio goes because i know the hoosier is a little taller tire i think it's about an inch and a half taller i want to say than the mickey thompson i think it's two inches taller than the actual nitto that comes on the demon so with that being said i really want to know your guys opinion on which tire i should get so um i know mush he ran that hoosier and he was still the tire was still spinning around that wheel which is pretty wild so um i mean the end goal for me obviously i'm gonna if whatever the smallest wheel that i can fit on the demon i'm definitely gonna get a set of drag wheels just for that i don't know if you can fit a 15 uh i know they have smaller brakes in the back but i don't know if they're that small so for sure 17 you can fit in the back because you can fit a 17 on these here um, but I'm not sure if you can fit a 15. If you can fit a 15, that'd be awesome. Because I'd love to have a set of 15s on that Demon and really see what it can put down. Because um, I want to try and get my fastest time without touching anything. You know, I want to do the car like fully interior first. Get as fast as I can going. Then start ripping stuff out. Take the back seat out. Take the passenger seat out. Uh, take off the little mirror delete kit they have. Like do all the stuff that you're supposed to take off go from there <clears throat> and see what the fastest time I can get so I plan on putting I would say a couple hundred passes on the demon before I decide if I'm gonna even touch the engine or anything else because um, I think it's gonna take that long just to figure out how exactly to get this car to run how it's supposed to run uh, for those of you guys who don't know I think Dodge the Dodge en engineers said it took them I think around 300 <clears throat> tries to get uh, to get it down to get it dialed in so I expect myself to do it probably just as much if not more and I'm told I already know that I'm totally fine with that it's just gonna make me a better drag racer I guess that's what you can call it um, I'll, it'll make me a better drag racer at the strip um, I want to get to know the car and it's gonna also help me to get to know this car also this car is gonna have a lot more horsepower I mean a lot more horsepower than the demon um, but this is still has the stock gearing I mean Jesus Christ this still has the stock airbox so um, you know I'm, I'm very curious to see kind of the differences between this and the demon once we get everything going and it'll be cool because we can go back and forth and then we can take David's car which is a challenger which has a shitload of horsepower too. And we can compare all three. Um, then obviously we'll take the track hawk out too and have some fun with that. But I really wanted to get your guys' opinion because I do want to purchase the tires within the next three to five days. Um, because I would like them here, even though the, my track doesn't open up. Um, I think the first event is going to be like the first weekend in, of April, which we're going to have a caffeine and cars event um, that morning because they're doing a roll racing event that day, which is April 7th. Uh, April 6th, which is Friday night, uh, Contagion Athletics is sponsoring Grudge Racing, and then we're also sponsoring the uh, roll racing event. So I would like to take the Demon and the Charger out the night before, mess with them a little bit, because I'm pretty sure that'll be the first time the drag strip is open. So if you guys are in town or if you want to come to the roll racing event, it's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fast cars. And uh, there's going to be, I think each class winner gets a thousand bucks, something like that. So there's some money to be won for sure. Um, and I'm pretty excited about that. So I just want to know what your guys' opinion would be on which tire to get. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I kind of want to get a Hoosier because I haven't had them. Um, and I, I've had the Mickey Thompson uh, Street SS's, which I have on this and David has on his. And they're awesome. They feel like a normal tire. They don't hook up off the line, uh, obviously, but they do hook up a lot better than the fucking stock tires. I'd kill myself if I had these on right now. But I really wanted to get your guys' opinion. So maybe uh, Demonology, SRT Mush, or anybody else who has a demon or experience racing, period, can give me some insight on which tire to get because um, I don't want to spend, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars on a set of tires and them not do what I want them to do. So, um, but I really don't want to use the Nittos. I, literally, as soon as I get the Demon, I want to, 
if I can honestly if I could find another set of demon wheels I would love to just have a set of demon wheels for the rear that I can just pop off pop back on and that way I can have my driving set when I want to drive around town and then I can have my racing set when I actually want to go to the drag strip and race instead of having to pop the tires off and on but I think getting demon wheels before all the demons are made are probably gonna be impossible same reason why I'm trying to get a different set of tires because I guarantee that you can't even get a hold of the Nitto tires right right now until all the demons are built which is probably gonna be summertime I almost guarantee it um, but if you guys can let me know in the comments below I take most of what you guys say pretty seriously. The other 20% of you just talk shit. That's okay. Maybe you can give me some insight too. Um, but I would love to know your guys' thoughts. So Mickey Thompson, Mickey Thompson or the Hoosier, because I'm pretty sure those are the only two tires that anybody should be running. Um, I'm really not sure about the Demon tires. You know, I know Dodge said all this stuff. They have a different compound and all this stuff. Um, <clears throat> but Demonology and SRT Mush still said they were spinning. So why not try and get a better tire that I can actually hook up with? So if you guys can give me some insight, I really appreciate it. That's gonna be it for today's video. Um, when I get on the freeway, I'll do a couple pulls for you. So I won't end the video just yet. So let's do a couple pulls first and then we'll end the video. All right, let's do a little pull. It's like 40 to 70 within like, I don't even know how long, but that's, that's really retarded. God, I love this fucking car. If you guys have, if you guys are not sure if you should uh, tune or pulley your Hellcat, I uh, I highly recommend it. So we're about to get on the freeway, and uh, we'll see if I can get a pull before this construction starts. Because if you live in Amarillo, you know that basically there's construction going on every five feet. So let's see if we can do this. Maybe I can slow down a little bit. You know what's funny is the wine in this car is quieter than the wine on the Trackhawk. <laughs> Alright, you guys ready for this? Let's see. Let's see if I can hook up. We're going 35. No, no, no. Fuck no. Fucking spin, 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 spin city. Well, I should make a t-shirt that says spin city, bitch. Spin, spin city, bitch. Woo! That backfired, though. Alright, anyways, thank you guys for watching today's video. Again, I would really appreciate your guys' comments below. Throw a like on the video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got a lot, a lot of content coming. And uh, thank you guys for always supporting. I really appreciate it. My name is Kevin Van Voris, and we are out this bitch.